Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on Python programming basics and today we'll be talking about local versus global variables. So let's get started. By the end of this video we will know what is a local variable, what is global variable, the scope and accessibility of local and global variables. Also we will run through a few examples in code sculptor. Consider this rectangle as a main program where we have a variable a which is defined as a equals 10 we also have a, a print function we are calling this print function this small rectangle is that print function where we have two variables d and d defined as d equals 6 e equals 7 and we are printing the values of the variables d and e usually this main program is considered as the global block and the function is considered as a local block. If there is a variable which is defined in the main program or the global block and it's outside of the function, it's an example of global variable. Here A is a global variable. However, if there are variables defined within a function or in the local block, it's, it's local to that function and therefore those variables defi defined within this function uh, would be local, local variables. So in this case D and E are examples of local variables. Now let us see what happens if we try to access the local variables outside of this function. So if I want to print the value of D outside of this function in our main program, it would give us an error because we are trying to print the value of this variable outside of this function. The local variables are not known outside the functions they are defined. They cannot be accessed ac and they cannot be used outside of the block or function they are defined. So if we are trying to do something with the variable local variable D outside of this function, we will get an error. Now let's see what happens if we try to use this variable A inside the function. And so if I want to print the value of a and I, I have this statement print a in the function, we will not get an error. In fact, the value of a as 10 would be printed as the outcome of this print a statement in this function. This is because the scope of global variables holds good in the entire life cycle of the program and can be used not just in the main program but also inside a function. Now let's see let's jump to code sculptor and and see uh, how it works through through programming examples okay so here we are in code sculptor and we we'll start with the main program we will define the variable here we will also define the function and we will call this function okay for this example uh, we will be defining uh, we'll be working on a function called force and for this we will need a variable g which would be the gravity and we will define the value as g equals 9.8 now let us calculate force for force in order to calculate force we will need another variable called mass and we will define the value of mass as 10 we will calculate the value of force and put it in another variable f and f will be calculated as mass multiplied by gravity g we will print the value of f force equals f and let us call this function in the main program let us see the output we will run the program and we will see the force as the value of the force as 98 now let us see what happened here we see this is this is this is the start of the program and we see that there is a variable defined uh, there is a variable g which is defined as 9.8 
Now this variable is defined in the main program. It's outside of any function. It's it's not part of a function. It's outside of of any function. So g is a global variable. Now if we see this function force, we'll see that this function contains two variables. One is mass, which is defined as mass equals 10. And also there is a very vari another variable f, uh, which holds the value, the calculated value of force, um, which we get after multiplying mass to gravity. So since these two variables are defined within this function, these are local to this function and so mass and f are local variables just imagine if we want to use this variable mass outside of this function and we want to print the value of mass here in the in the main program what would happen okay so we put the statement print mass so that we can get the value of mass and print it. Let's run the program and we get the error mass is not defined. That's because Python is looking for the definition of mass in the main program and it couldn't find it because it's not defined there. We thought that since mass is defined here within the function, let's try uh, using it in the main program. but it doesn't work because in the main program the the variable mass is not defined and moreover uh, mass is part of this function it's a local variable and as um, as as we saw earlier in the video um, we cannot use we cannot access or use a local variable outside of the function because the scope is the scope of local variable is def is limited to the um, to the function we cannot use it outside of the function so this print mass is not going to work out here because this is local variable okay now let us see something else here if we talked about trying we tried using the local variable outside of the function now let us try using um, let us try up doing some operations on on global variable g so just imagine if I if I want a different value of g in in my function, how can we do that? So suppose if if I want to increase the value of g by one, and I put g equals g plus one, let us see what will happen. So we get an error. It says local variable g referenced before assignment, and this is because. Um, in this function, Python is looking for definition of g, which is not there. Python does not know at this point that is this g a local g, or is this a global g, or or what is this variable? So we need to define or initialize g so that Python can understand what is this g, and and based on that, it it would be able to perform operations. So in order to do, in order to get rid of this error, what I'm going to do is I will define g as 9.8 inside the function, and with this Python will now understand that okay this is the definition of g g equals 9.8, and and Python would consider this variable g as a local variable inside this function, and so if we now execute this this um, program we will not get this error, error anymore and also let me let me uh, put few more print statements here so that we can see what's the value of g after doing this operation within this function and outside this function so we will write print local g is g also let us have another print statement here global g is G. Let us run it. And we see that now we are not getting that error. And also the value of G is increased to increased by one. And 
we have a new value of force which is 10 times uh, 10.8 and also if we print the, the value of g here we see that we, we get the new value of g which is 10.8 which is 9.8 plus 1 and also if we see what's the outcome of this global g the global g the value of this g remains the same because the moment control comes out of this function it will not have the value of g as 10.8 because 10.8 was when when g was within this when the control was within this function once the control comes out of the function it will retain the value of g which was defined in the beginning of the program so this shows that if we do any operation on a variable which uh, which has the name same as the global variable the effect would be just um, uh, inside the function as long as the control is inside the function the moment the control comes out of the function the global value of g would be used or, or would be applicable now just imagine if we are interested to really change the value of global g so that not just this function but even outside of this function the value of g is changed so if we want to change the global value of g inside this function we need to tell python that we want to use that global g not cons not not using the local g in order to do that we will define we, we will initialize the g as global so we will say global g now python would know that we are talking about global g and it should change the value of g globally and so if we now execute this program the the operation will be done on global g the value will be increased by 1 the value of g will be 10 10 should be 10.8 in this function even if the uh, even if the control comes out of the function since we change the val value of global g once the control comes out of the function even in the main program the g the, the new value of g would be reflected and and used so if we run this program we will see that local g is now 10.8 as well as the global g is 10.8 i hope this video tutorial helped you and please leave your comments or feedback so that i could improve in my future tutorials thanks